Here we are. Hopefully you can see us. Oh, face to camera now then. <laughs> That's the one we want. How are you everybody? Hi everyone. Do you say hello when you're here? Hope all is well. Yeah. Hope we are surviving drinks. okay. And those of you who are digging through silt, we are thinking of you all the time. Yes. So, quite yes. Sad. Yeah. Yeah. A lot of hard work going on. Yeah, there. sure is. Mm. Saw an interesting post on Facebook this morning about how it's going to have effects on the whole country. Well, and, it will. It'll have yeah. a roll-on effect, won't yeah. it? Absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. Not that yeah. we're worried about that. We're, no, you know, but we understand. Silk to worry about. Yeah. Yeah. Hello, Cherry. Good afternoon. How are you? Hi, Cherry. Mm. Nice sip of old grey no milk this afternoon. No, and I've got raspberry tea. Yeah, milk decided to go. It did. <laughs> Put it in my coffee and oh. I went, Ooh, Ooh yuck. <laughs> Don't you just hate that when that happens? Blah. Yes. Oh. And it didn't smell. That was a funny thing. Yeah. I smelt it and it didn't smell off. But never mind. Mm -hmm. It's all right. We survived. Yep. No Hi, problem. Esther. Hello, Susan. Yes, we have got your entry, Susan. Don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Susan. Hi, Esther. Um, it'd be interesting to know, actually. Did you did you get sent to a thank you page when you posted your entry? Because you should be. Oh. So I want to check whether people are being posted to a thank you page or being sent to a thank you page. Hello, Georgina. How are you today? Oh, lovely. Twenty people here already. That's wonderful. Nice, nice, nice. Mm. Well, Jeanette, Kiora. Um. I am going to start off with my hand stitching. Yay, yay, yay. It's beautiful. Wait till you see so this. I've been doing some it's hand stitching. Um, so. Hello, Valerie. Hi, Joan. That's my hand stitching. It's done on um, stick and stitch. Gorgeous. Yeah, so let's not dip, dip it in the, the <laughs> raspberry tea. <laughs> so you can see this stuff here is the stick and stitch. So we, um, Brenda's printed this, the design onto the stick and stitch, and then it just peels the backing peels off, doesn't it? No, and it dissolves in water. Yeah, but you you peel the backing off. Oh, and stick sorry. It onto yes, your, you do. Bigger pad. Stick it onto your linen. Sorry, sorry. So she's sewing onto linen, and then you can do your embroidery. Aren't they gorgeous? They are beautiful. I'm so what are these going to be the middle of? My Dresden plates, which I didn't bring. Nice. I didn't bring, but yes, my Dresden plates. So that's nice. what they look like without the sticky, oopsie, without sticky, the so stick and stitch. So yeah. all stuff on. So you just soak it and it disappears. So these are just going to go into the middle of um, my um, Dresden plates. So Beautiful. And they're just very little. They're all very little. This was a pattern that you bought in Australia, wasn't it? It was, yes. Yes. Yeah. Um, and it's been lovely to do, and I only Hi, just pick Cheryl. it up, pick it up every Sue. now and then, not very often. Yeah, it's nice though, it's a lovely thing to do. It is. Oh, so pretty. Thank you. Well, I've been sewing as well. You have, you've been busy doing your um, mug rug. I did my Kiwiana mug rug. It's lovely. I've done yesterday. It's got the hood cow on the back and on the binding. So really we have well. kits for that, and I've just done the cover page for those. So oh, yep. They, I think I've made them active already in the... Hi, in Nicole. The so. Hi, Liz. Nicole, hello. Hi, Liz. Um, so that's yes. three different colourways we have for that project now. So that's nice. Yay. Isn't it? Yes. Yes, it is beautiful, isn't it, Jeanette? Those, those embroideries are gorgeous. So um, mm. did it take you long to do your mug work? No, doesn't take long. Doesn't take long at doesn't all. Take long at all. Nice. It's fun, and it's nice bit of hand stitching. Yep, nice. I did machine stitch the binding on this time, and <laughs> I was just, my brain was foggy yesterday because I've got this little neat trick I do at the end of binding, and usually it's just <laughs> yep. I did it about four or five times. <laughs> no. Just no. wasn't happening yesterday. Oh, look, I've got threads We're on all like top. that. Oh, look, you're a real quilter. I am. I've got oh, my threads with you me. qualify. It's your badge of honour. It is. Oh, I better leave it there then. <laughs> <laughs> Make it into a little heart shape. I could. 
Oh, I'm wearing a jumper today. It was cold this morning. It was a real good um, heavy dew this morning. Yes. Yeah. Carl's Absolutely. playing golf down in Carterton all week. And this morning he forgot his battery for his trundler, so I had to drive down there and take it to him. Oh, right. <laughs> Otherwise he wouldn't get That's very far. In fact, I put this on and I put a cardigan on. So you had an no, early start this morning? Not that early. It was fine. About nine o'clock. That's early enough. Yeah. <laughs> mm. Mm. Um, what's on there? What's on the list today, Brenda? Well, we've got some new fabric coming. Um, oh, yes, we do. Yeah. Yesterday, I think it arrived. Yes. So just a little bit of um, laundry basket, isn't it? Yes, it's called Sea Breeze. So we've just got a few, but they're really nice. And you could use them on their own, like I as a group, or you could mix them with other things. That's just that beautiful. Is really pretty. It's very delicate. There's a little creamy one with stars. It's so pretty. Yeah. And a little creamy one with hearts. These aren't quite on the website. They were one of my jobs to do and I haven't quite got to they it. They'll be on soon. But they'll be on later today, hopefully. All yeah. going well. I think they're all set up and ready to go. So we can do that. And then this little, Very I don't know pretty. what to call that pattern. They kind of look like little leaves, oh, don't they? Yeah, it's kind of like leaves. Yes. Very pretty. A very sweet and cute pattern. So those are really nice neutrals and they are. and could just be put with like some blues and... Imagine some nice blue grunges or something. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, I was thinking grunges. I can just see them. So can I. Be very nice. Yummy. So that's what's new in this week and we have other new stuff in. You want to do those as These well? These ones here? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. So this is things Excuse that have me. arrived in recently. We've got these lovely seam rippers again. They are lovely. Yeah. Work now, really well. and we haven't listed them by colour, but if you've got a colour preference, if you order online, notes. put it in the notes. There's yep. pink, there's blue, and there's a lovely sort of sagey green. And um, they're called Seam Fix. I use this. So it's actually got um, two ends. One's thicker than the other. Heavy duty and heavy fine. duty and fine, yeah. Mm. And then also this sort of rubbery end, which when you've got threads, <laughs> they rub they out. Just, they just rub out. They hook them out of the fabric. Yeah. They're sort of yeah, like really um, instead of dragging your finger yeah. on to try and get all the broken threads out, you just use that rubber yeah. end and, and it just really brushes them work. out. And they do. Those. That works really well. Yeah, so they're really lovely. So we've got those, and then we've got a pattern I've pulled out. So we've I'm probably shown you before, but I just thought it was worth showing have again. Or not. This is one of the new Elizabeth Hartman it's patterns. So it's called Sunshine. I just think it's beautiful. It is. It's just so oh, pretty. She's done on the back for a small quilt. Oh, actually, very, that's gorgeous, very cute. isn't it? Yeah. What Lovely colours, aren't they? So there's a small quilt, 36 by 42, and a large quilt, 64 by 69 on this one. Lovely. Wouldn't that make that little one on the back make a beautiful um, baby quilt mm. for a newborn or something? Mm. Very pretty. Very nice, very sort of Scandinavian, isn't it? It's lovely and design. And then um, we didn't even show you, did we show you the scrap bags last week? We didn't get a chance. I don't think we had a chance to show you. And we've only got one left. That's it. These are our enough. luxury scrap bags. They are large. We've weighed them. They weigh the same as about five metres of fabric. And they're only $49, so it's a bit of a bargain. Which is a bargain. Different so, shapes and sizes in there. Yeah, there are. So um, there's there's like strips and there's cut pieces and there's there'll be triangles somewhere in there. Somewhere. Yeah, there'll be triangles in there and there's sort of slightly larger pieces. Some with selvage, some most most without. Um, but this was our peak, one of our most popular colorways. This was. was Eater. So that's the only one left. Dance in Paris. First in best dressed. There we go. Awesome. Oh, look, you've coloured yours in. I've started. Oh. <laughs> Shall we do our question and answer? Yes, we can. Okay. So what's the question of the week? Let's just, we're going to answer this in parts over a few weeks because there's a lot to it. Well, there's so, a lot to yeah. it. So Karen. But thank you, Karen. <laughs> Karen has sent in some questions um, and she wanted to know um, different weights of cotton. And mm. their uses. So that's actually a really good question. Yes. So I've brought some in from home and I've got some off the shelf here to show you. 
just reaching over, excuse me, everybody. So the thing to remember about thread is that the higher the number, the finer the thread. So our thickest thread that we have is a pearl eight. So oh here comes the courier. Thanks, Bryn. So this is a pearl eight, which is the eleganza, and you've got comes in variegated and plain. And then that's a razzle version, so it's just a very shiny. And then that's a dazzle, which has the glitter. Those are all pearl eight, and those are really good for hand sewing. So the the mug rug, we did that with pearl eight, didn't we? Yes. Um, and the p thing about pearl eight, it's about as thick as a DMC cotton, but it's one strand, whereas DMC cotton for embroidery comes in six strands. And if you try and quilt with DMC, it's it sort of splits and. It can split a bit. Yeah, DMC is quite yeah. good just for um, stitcheries, and, yeah. which is what I did yeah. my little stitcheries out of. So those are DMC, yes. DMCs, yeah. those final That's ones what, on there. What and you I'd buy as an embroidery cotton. Two threads of those. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I always used to do my cross stitch with. Yeah, and I used to do cross stitch back in the day. Um, so the, yeah, these are great for hand quilting, um, and I did the blanket stitch around the heart with those as well. You can use them in the bobbin of your machine if you're into art quilting and that sort of thing. Oh, I didn't it's know that. Very different kind of application. I haven't tried it. So then you go up from there. So that's eight. So this is twelve, a little bit finer. Um, but again, I've used this for hand stitching, doing hand quilting on a smaller item. Um, that's quite nice, Orofil, that one. Okay, let's go up in order. Ding, da, ding, da, ding, da, ding. Uh, oh, where's my Gutterman? I thought I picked up a Gutterman. Just reach behind you. I can reach behind me. So this is Gutterman machine embroidery and quilting thread. Um, you can use it to piece as well, but it's 30 weight, so it's a little bit on the thicker side than your normal piecing thread. And I use it for free motion and ordinary quilting. It's really nice. So this is cotton. Um, all the ones so far have been cotton. Um, and then we've got some polyester. And this is um, the Mettler poly sheen which is, again is good for quilting, and that's a 40 weight. This is a variegated one, so is that. I think I picked that up thinking it was Gutterman. No, it wasn't. It was Mettler Polysheen. Um, so the only thing to remember about these is, first of all, don't put your hot iron on them because it will melt. And secondly, if you're going to quilt with that, make sure you've got polyester in the bobbin as well as the top. So having the same thread, top and bottom, will hopefully solve any issues like tension, that sort of thing. Talking of, um, just saying of yes. melting with the iron, Yeah. Um, a lovely lady who I know um, has um, really ironed her quilt to death. Oh. <laughs> and some threads she had used mm. were cotton and some were the polycottons, mm. and unfortunately the polycottons had melted. Mm. And so we had quite a few repairs to do yeah. for her. But, um, it's so interesting, you... though, because I always think of that in terms of quilting, but not in piecing, because I've no, people... often used the Mettler for piecing. Yes. This is the Mettler 40 weight that we stock, the little... Actually, we have small and large rolls of these. Um, this is a good all-purpose cheap polyester. Yep. But, yeah, you, you wouldn't want to be putting the high steam on and holding it there for 20 seconds no. with polyester because no. it will melt. And that's actually how you can tell if you've got a, an unknown thread, um, break a piece off, go somewhere safe, get a dish or something and some matches. And then if it melts, it's polyester. Same for fabric. If it melts, it's polyester. And if it turns to ash, it's cotton or linen or something yep. organic. And that's nice. how to tell. So we've gone 8 weight, 12 weight, um, 30 weight, 40 weight. Orofil. I haven't got an Orofil here. No, would you like me to get you yes, one? Yes, please. <laughs> so the Orofil 50 weight is finer. 
so that, I mean, you can use this for general piecing. I've used it a lot. But nowadays, I use the Orofil 50 weight. Um, and I use it for piecing and also for quilting. And it's um, much, it's a lovely fine thread and it's 100% cotton made in Italy. Oh, I've got and a good thing on Also, <laughs> they, <laughs> they gas it as it goes through its process, which means that all the little sort of hairs on there disappear in that. So it's really clean, lint free, and runs really nicely through your machine. Um, so I, I use that all the time now. Just, it's my uh, favourite thread. Rushed off. Oh, look. Oh, yes, now. Rushed off. <laughs> <laughs> the only thing with these is, remember that if you can't find the end, what you do is you pull this off and your end will be under here. So please don't attack it with a pair of scissors. Mm. So, <laughs> trying to find the end because it, this is what that happens. will happen and you don't want that to no, happen. No, you don't want that to happen. So always, if you've got a um, orifil. Hello, Carol. Hi, Sarah. Hi, a Denny. large spool. Just yeah. like Sheila has done. Just take that bottom off if you can't find yeah. it. Because I can see on this one that the end of the thread is going down here. So it'll be just under here. Yeah. Um, yeah, so that, that's what to do. Because there's a lot of thread on here, 1,300 metres on one of these reels, so you don't want time. to be cutting into it and wasting it. And that's our favourite thread that we like to use on our machines. Yeah. They don't go too fluffy. They yeah. don't go fluffy, do they? They don't go, no, they don't clog Keep it all you, up. Yeah, mm. which is really good. Runs beautifully. So, on to the next one. So we're going up in numbers. This one is 80 weight Orofil. And this is a really good thread for hand applique hand piecing like English paper piecing or hand piecing um, so people like Jen Kingwell make a lot of use of this um, so very very fine and cotton it's lovely and we do go even finer and very strong and this is something I've used a lot for English paper piecing and this is a um, polyester one so this is Invisifil by Wonderfil and it's a hundred weight very very it looks thicker on on here than it actually is it's very very fine i have to do a picture of them all laid out next to each other at some <laughs> point won't we? um so yeah you can basically hardly see it um i haven't used it much in my machine but people do um especially mm. like if you're doing quilting and you don't want to see the quilting we do have other thread for that but i haven't got it in front of me at the moment so that's basically your thicknesses. Um, cotton and polyester are the main ones that we have. Another thread that we stock is this. And I'm not sure what the thickness is of this one. I couldn't no. tell you either. No. no. So this is wild eye hand quilting thread. Um, and you don't want to use this in your machine because it's waxed. So you can see how it sort of flops like that. It's because it's coated with wax. So that for hand quilting, very fine hand quilting, not the sort of hand quilting that I do, because I do big stitches with big chunky thread, but this is for the traditional hand quilting. Um, and I've, I've done one or two things, but it takes a lot of practice to get a nice, really nice finish with it. But yeah, it's waxed so that it will go through really easily and not knot up. So you don't want to put that in your machine. Doesn't say what weight. No. no, I'm not sure. I think it might be about 40. Yeah. 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 But it's nice. It's yes. lovely. So, there you go. That's our little question and answer segment. I hope that's answered a few questions. Mm. If you have any other questions about thread, fire away. Um, and if you want to ask questions about anything else, we will be answering the rest of Karen's questions in other sessions. Yep. There's a she couple, has more, a couple more subjects. Um, and... But do send in any questions you've got and we will try to answer for you. And if you've got other further questions about thread, let us know. Okay. Well, that was it, fun. It was. Actually, yeah. it was quite um, different. No. Um, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Informative. Informative. <laughs> yes, it was actually. It was very good. Uh. Because I didn't know you could use these uh, pearl eights on your bobbins. Yeah, I've never tried. But, of course, you've got it sewing upside down as well. So yes. you've kind of got to be going in straight lines or be very arty. I don't know. Yeah. Let's see. 
It was worth a try. I should give it a try one day. Okay, next topic is... Shall we do the Dresden plate? Oh no, we'll do that when we do the draw. Yeah. Yeah. So next topic... Shall we show them the um, linen? The Fabiosa find. Okay, that gives me a chance to press a button. <laughs> Fabiosa's find. Oh, she and didn't... I still didn't find her again, did I? No. <laughs> All right, here we go. Here's Fabiosa. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we have picked out, given the inspiration from Brenda's beautiful sewing on linen, we have picked out some lovely fabrics that you can stitch on. So this is handkerchief linen. Um, I believe it's a bit wider than normal, isn't it's it? It's 58 inches 58 wide. 58 inches wide. Oh, why is it saying double click to pick a camera source? I don't know. Where's it saying that? I think I can get rid of it. Ah, no, no. Well, there's Fabiosa. I found her. <laughs> but it's trying to show my thing. Right, we're going to go to camera. Just bear with us, everybody. We have one of these every day, don't we? We seem to give oh, every week, a rather. With these things, don't yes. we? Yes. There we go. We're back. <laughs> Sorry about that, everyone. <laughs> I was just testing your patience. Yeah. Um, so this is something that can be used for things like the hatched and patched quilts yep. for your wool applique. You can use it for stitcheries. That's uh, just lovely. Actually, you could make a dress with it if we have enough. I don't know if we have or not. Not quite, no. <laughs> this one we might have, though. Um, so that colour is called... I'm not 100% sure. No, but... because they both say birch bark. <laughs> but <laughs> no, no not... it, this is supposed to be spaghetti oh, right, beige. Oh, right, And okay. that one is bilby. Bilby. I'm not so sure. This is bilby. Yeah. This is greyer. So they're both called handkerchief linen. You can just about see those little slubs on there. They are they're really, lovely. really nice. Really lovely. And um, they weren't on our website at all. Oh, So there you okay. go. They are now on our website. <laughs> now on our website. There you go. Um, this one is um, Essex yarn dyed. So this is cotton linen blend. It should be. Um, Chambray, it's called. Which is a really, really nice blue. Too. Now I used this blue in my dogs and sweaters mm. quilt for my niece. And yeah. uh, it just came out beautiful. So this was all yeah. the background and the sashing. And it just came out just beautiful. Just lovely. And then we've also got some that I've done. I've been doing a little bit of stitchery on, just like experimenting. And this is called Manchester. This is quite a bright yellow. It's called... It's a bit of a custardy yellow to, to look at it. It's called Yarrow. Yarrow. Mm, so that's it's looking a little nice. pale on the screen, but it is actually more of a custard yellow. And then this is a really lovely limey green. And it's yeah much closer to its real colour it on is. the screen. That's better. Um, kiwi, of course. And last but not least, this is called Jade. Which is very pretty as well. Beautiful. Could I use the handkerchief linen to make machine embroidered hankies? I mm, um, don't think you'd want to. They're a little bit coarser yeah. than what your hankies would be, but when I was putting them on the website, because I had to find out what they were and looking around, um, they had them as men's kerchiefs in their top pockets, Ooh. like for weddings, and they did right. have a little bit of embroidery on it, but I wouldn't actually use it on my nose. It's a bit coarse. Yeah, yeah. yeah. A, bit, a bit thick as well, too. Yeah. Not yeah. like that lovely, beautiful Swiss cotton. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, but you could definitely machine embroider something on You can machine you embroider, I mean, imagine a fine runner down your table, mm, nice. you know, and, yeah. and embroidery on it would be really just lovely. There's lots yeah. of options with yeah. it, um, but probably, um, I was just trying to think who else used it. Was it, was it Hatched and Patched? That Hatched used and Patched it? used it. Yes, they did. Um, um, they use it. A lot. Um, yeah, and we, we did do. our last block of the month, which was a very long time ago now, and that had those in it. Mm. Yeah, which was really nice. Mm. And they weren't just for embroidery. We actually um, appliqued on top of them as well, which was yeah. lovely. Yeah. So they just would like, we used them just like a yeah, a normal. So what's sorting. what's the special on those? So those are um, $10 off. So they were 30 good prices, I think. Oh, no, well. they weren't. They were 27 They're down so to Manchester's 19 27 Oh, they're right. They're so they're not $10 off. Yes. <laughs> 
<laughs> Cotton linen. I put that wrong oh, up there. Right. Okay. Yes, they are. They are ten dollars off. Yeah. Yep. So yep. some so of them they vary prices to start with. So I've put the I've lied up there on our board. Oh, okay. <laughs> Sorry. So they will be down to nineteen dollars a meter. Right. Yep. They are because I did it cool. yesterday. I don't know why I did that on the board. I was like, but like putting my hours <laughs> just, just lost it. You know, just lost it. Yeah. Way with the fairies. <laughs> That's okay, uh, but they are really, really nice to use. Yeah, they are. Mm, great. Love them, love them, love um, them. Okay, and then we also have a pick of the week. So our pick the of show. the week is a bit different this week. Mm, I'm quite excited. I'm very excited. Look at these. So we've done, oh, Brenda has done these beautiful bundles. So this, this is the little fish applique kit. So you get enough for one fish. Quite a decent size, aren't they? Are. they? Yeah. And in with it, you have got a thick water, yep, a packet of um, Chanel 24 needles, and yep. five uh, threads. So there'll be a mix of Razzle and Dazzle um, and Sue Spargo. Who and likes. Ganza. And yep. Ganza. Yep. 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 And um, the kit includes all the pre cut wool for the outside. Oh, yes, that would have been nice to see that, wouldn't it? Sorry yeah. about that. But yes, it does include all the pre cut. Two. There's a pink one. So there's one pink fish. Yep. and there's orange fish, or oh, peach, peach fish, pink fish, fish. and purple fish. And then there's two hearts. Oh, and yeah. hearts. Multicoloured heart. What a lovely kit. So those are 77 list price. And what's the pick of the week price? Down to 54. 54. Fantastic. I didn't write that up there either. Oh. Never mind. <laughs> Did I? Oh, no, I oh, yes, I did. No, I think you did. It's I just did. hiding behind the batting that is sitting behind. I did half my job. That's all that matters. <laughs> you did the job. You did, did the, the job. job. Just so just they are already on the website, um, rearing cool. to go. So um, and it's quite a nice little kit what to a start gift with. That would make for a beautiful somebody. gift. But it's also a nice if you've not done that type of thing before. It's mm. a nice starter kit for you to start yeah. with, um, yeah. which is really nice. It's got everything in it that you need. Nice. So cool. Yeah. So that's very exciting. Okay, so I think we're on to. Oh, should we do the ruler? Oh yes, the ruler of the month. Dun -dun -dun. Dun -dun 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 -dun. The ruler of the month. This month is the Dresden plate ruler from. Oh, forgive the uh, stuff going on in the background. <laughs> oh. <Is> the... <laughs> I don't know what happened there. <laughs> it's called last minute planning. <laughs> So this is the Dresden Plate Ruler from Creative Grids. And something I hadn't realised about this is that you get your circle, so you can make your circle for your centre, like I've done on here. I'm pointing to something, you can't see that I'm pointing to it. But also, you can use it to make a rounded Dresden Plate. Oh, I didn't know well. that. Oh, have we got something to hold behind it so I can see? Thank you. So you can actually make a rounded Dresden plate. That so I'm going to be looking clever. up or trying that out because I thought that was really cool. And of course, to go with it, we have a new colouring challenge, which is Dresden plates. I've kind of started mine. <laughs> um, we have Jade's done a beautiful one. She so says. we will be showing you the Dresden plate colouring challenges, but it's now on our website. So you can now download the new colouring sheet. And I pulled out this book we've got because it's called Dresden Quilt Blocks Reimagined and it just gives you lots of gorgeous ideas for making things with Dresden plates. I think one inside another. And I've got that book at home, I love it. It's beautiful. I think I might need this book too. If be quick, I might get it. <laughs> <laughs> I'll probably, I shall order some more. But um, I think they're really good. It is a beautiful book, yes. It's by Candice Cop Grisham. Um, yeah, she's got some wonderful ideas in there. So Very modern looks, not the old-fashioned nice. looks. So mm. this is the ruler. It's 10% uh, off for March and goes along with our colouring challenge. So that's Dresden Plate. So um, the colouring challenge, don't know if I've got to try this one. No, that's not going to work. Bear with 
Give me a moment. Okay, colouring challenge. Now we've got we've had lots of entries, so that's the actual new one. So that'll be due Sunday the second of April. That'll be the new one. And I just picked out, just before we came on air, I just picked out a few pictures of this month's colouring challenge. And so we've got some beautiful ideas. Look at that one. That glowy one, that's Rachel's. Wow. Isn't that amazing? It is amazing. We've got Sandra's and Rachel's and I think we've got Kylie's on there and Susan's on there. Anyway, um, Jade will be posting these up on Facebook, so... Um, and we'll probably put them in our blog, actually. That would be a good thing to do. So if you're not on Facebook, you'll still see them. But look at all the different patterns people have come up with. Pretty amazing, isn't it? Yeah, it's really exciting. So well done, everybody who entered. Which means it must be time to draw a winner, I reckon. <laughs> Giveaway time. <laughs> it will be so nice. Okay, so um, for the colouring challenge, yep. we'll do that first. So don't forget, if you do the colouring challenge and you post your entry um, through the form, it appears in our list. So last month I think we had nine entries, and this month we've got 16. Well done. And the prize is a $50 voucher for Quilters Lane. And actually, there's also a little benefit that you get when you post, which is why I want to know whether people received the, were taken to the correct page when they finished. So, oh, thanks, Donna, for the really helpful. Okay, so we have 16 entries this month. Right, and let's generate yep. number 10. Number 10, Georgina Shan. Well done, you Georgina. You are the winner. Congratulations. That is so exciting. <gasps> <gasps> That's actually really cool. Well done, Georgina. Cool. And I will find Georgina's picture at some point. But maybe not right now because that's too much. Oh, me! Yes! <laughs> <laughs> yes Download yeah. link is still for last month's colouring. I shall change it when I go. <laughs> I have put, put the thing up there, so it's just the link. Oh, um, yes, I will change the link. Okay, now then. Hello, Robin. <laughs> <laughs> um, so this is our normal giveaway. Um, which is our weekly giveaway. So this is the one that we announced last week, which is this beautiful yellow uh, with the thread and the machine needles. And that's giveaway A. We have 37 entries for A. Okay, yes. let's generate. You ready? See who's going to win. Oh, now it gives me an advert. That's not very good, is it? How rude was that? <laughs> Look at that. I get an advert. No. Ugh. Well, this is what you get with free apps. When you're trying to save money. Right. <laughs> Let's generate. Number 26. <gasps> Number 26, Elsa Bruff. Congratulations, Elsa. Well done. You are a winner. We'll give you a good, <laughs> a good winner's cheer. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Just go there again anyway. Okay. B. B. So this is B. B got 52 entries. Whoops. And I'm just throwing the, yeah. There we go. This is B. Beautiful. So these are ends of bolts. So unfortunately, there aren't any more of these fabrics unless we happen to have fat quarters in the basket. But probably not. No, but, <laughs> so, but this is yeah, lovely grey thread and machine needles and beautiful thread uh, so fabric, Macau fabric. 52 people. So yes. We oh, it did it again. Do a draw. Go away. Oh, we're going to have to find a different app. Oh, here we go. Right, generate <laughs> number 51. Number 51. Wow. Mel, congratulations, Mel Kiernan. Well done, Mel. You Yay, you. A. <laughs> Fantastic. Okay. And for so, next week's uh, next giveaway, please, is um, Art Gallery Fabrics. Ooh, and I have chosen, and oh. a thread. I have chosen yummy oranges. Yummy. Um, so this is A. That is A. It's, it's so very pretty. scrumptious. 
I love art gallery fabrics. And this is also art gallery fabric, and this is the, Ooh. I think that'll be a most popular one. I think so. That is yummy. Really. With also <laughs> another um, razzle another thread. Another razzle thread. It's beautiful. So absolutely stunning. Lovely. So if you'd like to get in for winning those, go to our website and go on, what have you put in there now, prize giveaway? Oh, giveaway entry, Giveaway I think. entry. Sorry, yeah. get it wrong every week. <laughs> Click on that and choose A or B, yep. whichever one you'd like. Orange for A and the nice tealy blue for B. Beep. Yep, and I shall go away and correct the link for the download, and um, then you'll be able to download within about half an hour. Awesome. Okay. Thank you for sharing the afternoon with us. Thank you very much, everybody. Happy have stitching. a lovely day. Take Happy care. Happy stitching and have fun. And Bye, relax. everyone. Bye.